Well, howdy, folks. I come to you here today to make an announcement. And uh, my apologies ahead of time if um, this may sound a little bit familiar to some of you. But because um, I think by my count, maybe I've already made this same kind of announcement four or five times in the past. And uh, it has not quite stuck just yet, but um, hopefully um, the sixth, fifth or sixth time is the charm. And I um, just wanted to say uh, I've been kind of lacking on producing content for this channel and I guess my social media um, empire as a whole. And uh, this is kind of my first step into really getting back into the game there because um, this past summer it's been uh, quite, it was quite a handful. Um, I got married to a beautiful woman and I'm very happy about that. Things are going quite well. And on top of that, just um, work has been very hectic both uh, in the musical world and um, my uh, part-time job at uh, Greenport Wines and Spirits. Um, I don't think I ever once mentioned that before, but uh, at the beginning of um, COVID lockdown, which is um, almost unbelievably two, three years ago, I have no idea, three, many years ago, it seems like um, just, I don't know, several years just vanished. Um, I'd been a full-time musician for quite a while. And then uh, obviously when COVID first hit, I um, all gigs canceled. Same uh, same kind of um, story. I'm sure many of you uh, in the music field um, would share the exact same sentiment. And um, all my gigs were canceled. And I was like, okay, uh-oh. Well, I guess I'm going to have to go out and find a job after a few, um, you know, fruitless hours trying to uh, apply for unemployment. So I was lucky enough to uh, snag a uh, position at our local liquor store out here, Greenport Wines and Spirits, with uh, and really the with a lovely staff, lovely owners. And uh, I've been there ever since. And I very much am uh, appreciative to them for um, giving the, me that opportunity because at the time I, I had pretty much no idea how I was going to uh, keep my head above water at that point. So um, anyway, fast forward to now. Um, you know, it was pr pretty much almost uh, a normal season for the past uh, year and a half or so. And, um, you know, musical work for me has really exploded and um, gigs as far as the eye can see. And uh, that's both a... I mean, essentially, it's a great thing. It's a it's a fantastic thing, but it did did, did have its drawbacks. Um, between that and keeping my uh, day job at the, uh, as I said, Greenport Wines and Spirits, um, I had to cut back on certain things, and I really have not been able to produce that much content for either my YouTube channel or Instagram or anything really. I you know I try my best, but I I just cannot keep on top of um, everything that I need to keep on top of. That's that's really all there is to it. Like, um, I'm not a marketing guy. I've never been a good salesman. I can, uh, I can perform, I can make music, but when it comes to kind of doing the, all the business uh, work as, you know, all the business work associated with being a, uh, self-employed musician, I've, I've always been terrible at that. And, you know, just with the amount of time that I had to devote to it, regardless, plus my second job and also newly married, spending time with my beautiful wife, it's been, um, it's been difficult to do that to say the least so um i found myself in a situation where i had to make a bit of a um well it's i'm now in the situation i have to make a bit of a compromise on that aspect of it and um i'm for the next few months into winter time um i'm gonna try to go lighter with the amount of gigs i um am booking on the weekend so i can both focus more on uh, creating content here I would very much like to do more creative stuff. Um, Foster Europe Band, new album is is far beyond the point of uh, much needed. Uh, it's, you know, that should have been done probably last year and it just didn't happen. And it's not for lack of uh, having material. Like, I, you know, it's tough because I, I have, you know, creatively, I have written... And the, uh, not to be a braggart or anything, but I've written enough material probably to fill three albums at this point, and I'm just so bad at following through and getting things done that it just, like, I start, I stop, and um, I just can't seem to focus my mind to see it through. Um, my, my past solo album, Saddle River, 
um, that was very much a time crunch type of thing. And maybe that's what I need to do and just start setting more, um, more, you know, guidelines and goals and no, not goals, uh, deadlines. I got to start setting some more deadlines for myself because that seemed to work with, uh, with my last album, Saddle River. But, um, again, that was a, you know, solo acoustic blues oriented and folk album. And I've, for the past few years, been wanting to, uh, put out a new album with the, uh, the band kind of a more hard rock, classic rock type, uh, type of dealie. And I've been thinking so much about it and I just, um, for whatever reason, well, not for whatever reason, just mainly because of uh, the work schedule, I just um, haven't had time to, you know, kind of dig into it and, and start getting that stuff ready to go. But um, I, I kind of had to make a pact with myself that this winter I will focus less on, um, you know, live gigs. I'm still keeping my, uh, my part-time job. That's just, you know, during the week... I, you know, there, there, there's not much um, opportunity for gigs early in the week. And, you know, therefore, I, I, again, I'm lucky enough that they are so understanding with um, with my music career and whatnot that they've been very uh, open to me kind of um, working a schedule that is very, very much tailored to all, pretty much w w what I can do. Um, I don't work weekends. I, you know, they know Friday, Saturday, Sunday are pretty much off limits. Um, I'm always booking gigs that on the weekends as, um, any musician would tell you, <laughs> I don't have to say that, but, um, I don't want to get to a point where I'm just rambling here. I, don't, I need to start making bullet points for what I'm saying and maybe moving my hands a little bit more when I'm talking, you know, I'm still, uh, talking to the camera is still a little bit odd for me. This is not, this has always been a, a kind of weak point for, uh, what I'm doing here. Like I could play and make videos, but when it comes to talking and staring at a camera, it's, um, you know, I guess it's an acquired taste. I'm still working on it, but, um, I'm not sure if there's anything else I really need to add at this point. I mean, I think I went over everything is that, uh, listen, I'm still here. I'm in the future. And when I say future, I mean the present I'm, uh, I'm dedicating, I'm going to dedicate a lot more time to uh, making content here on YouTube, as well as on my Instagram, um, Instagram at Rob Europe Music. We, we actually now, there's now, for a long time, I'd been at Foster Europe Music. No, no, sorry, at Foster Europe Band. Um, I finally, well, me and myself and the band made the decision to kind of uh, make a new Instagram for the band, and I would change my uh, Instagram, which was the band's Instagram, uh, to at Rob Europe music. So that'll be my own personal Instagram. And then we'll have a separate thing for foster Europe band. So, uh, we got some stuff coming up, uh, Halloween, actually this Saturday at Green Hill kitchen, we'll be playing, uh, nine o'clock. We have a Halloween party. I'm going to make a separate announcement video for that. Um, because that snuck up on me too, as does everything. It seems like I'm just like my little Everything just goes as a whirl. I, I'm, I just every, everything's getting away from me. I'm having a very difficult time keeping uh, keeping tabs on almost anything in my life at this point. So, um, but I'm I understand that, and uh, I'm really going to be working hard on addressing that in the present. So, again, I just said that, but is there anything else I have to add here? I I don't know. All I'm saying is to you, thank you for being supportive. Thank you for listening to all my stupid uh, ramblings and dumb music that I put out. And um, I'm going to be doing a lot more of it now, uh, this winter time. So thank you so much. I appreciate every single one of you, um, however few they might be. Just kidding. It's the quality of fans that matter, not the quantity. But I do hope to get to quantity at some point as well. But anyway, the quality of people out there, thank you so much. And um, I hope you have a wonderful day. And I hope... Um, I can continue to make something that brings a little bit of um, enjoyment into all of your lives as well as my own. So love you. Um, my new wife, Courtney, love you. And I look forward to uh, this winter in this holiday season. So end transmission. <laughs>